This is Real Deal Sports Talk with KP, July 12, 2018. Mr. Green. I found to be the nicest. On the mic, it went rhyme right in my mind. States gone, cipher, divine, righteous. This is the sound of refinement. Extra time spent on every line written. You can hear the difference when I'm rhyming. The barbarian rap right is like Clash of the Titans. I will depend like Poseidon, holding the golden triton. On the mic, I strike faster than vipers and flashes of bolts of lightning. My poetry will leave the Pope enlightened. Whack rappers, is past time you paid the Pied Piper. As the price just skyrocket, I stand to make a profit. But I wrap circles and spirals above your favorite artists Like an identifiable flying object With balls so far over your head I might as well be rhyming in high orbit If I dumb the metaphors down You think the sky was falling Rapper's arms too short to shadow box With the lords in the pantheon to rap I'm the high exalted The new guard flow, prepare your offering I treat the booth like the synagogue Cause the mic's my calling I should congregate a following Although agnostic, you felt the flow was God sent for the persona my Hey, mind. hey, hey, it is July July 12th, 2018. How is everybody doing out there? I hope everybody's having a great week. You know, it is that week after celebrations, after after the Canada Day, after the July 4th vacations going on, coming back. We got the weekend staring us in the face. I hope everybody's doing good. Thanks for tuning in and listening to me today. I really appreciate that here at Real Deal Sports Talk with KP. You can always follow us online as well at Real Deal Sports Talk with KP.com. At the beginning of the show there, you heard The Barbarians, a group here out of Denver, Colorado, and that was their track entitled Intro. That's why we had it on the intro. Uh, on today's show, we have our conversation that I was talking to you guys and put out on social media earlier this week um, with Bernie Nichols, co-founder of AllSportsMarket.com, former three-time NHL All-Star. This is big time, y'all. Um Huge for him to reach out to us and say, hey, you know, KP, if you want to do this, if you have time, if you can fit us into your show, we'd love to be on. Um, Let's make it happen. I reached out. I said, let's do this thing. We're going to make it happen. I'm trying to build my circle, my community, my network, where we're all helping each other become more successful uh, because that's real and that's love. And that's what we're about here at Real Deal Sports Talk with KP. So we have that conversation for you today. Great conversation on what he's got going on with his partner, Zach Ward. We'll talk about their website, how you can reach out and follow them on different social media platforms. Uh, We will talk about this Shady McCoy situation. Shady is looking shady. And we'll talk about the World Cup finale at the end of the show as that is coming up this weekend and our participants are set. So... We're going to kick it off because I want to get to this first, the conversation with Bernie Nichols, former three-time NHL All-Star and now co-founder of AllSportsMarket.com. This is something we have never seen before. It's groundbreaking. It's game-changing. Let's get to the conversation, and then we'll talk more about it after that. All right, joining me now is former three-time NHL all-star center and forward played in the league for two decades all kinds of stats played for the kings the rangers the oilers devils blackhawks the sharks uh he's one of the individuals who has a thousand points who's played in a thousand games um joining us today bernie nichols bernie how are you doing today I'm doing great, thanks. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, definitely. It's great to have you on. I, I know recently we just had our July 4th celebration here in the States. You guys had your, your Canada Day celebration. How'd that go for you? Oh, uh, It always goes great. Uh, I'm fortunate to get the best of both worlds. Being Canadian, uh, we get Canada Day on the 1st, and then uh, I live in the States most of the time, so uh, I celebrate the 4th as well. So it all worked out well. Definitely. A nice little week of partying for you. Uh, That's right. (laughs) Excellent. So you had a long time NHL career, um, almost 20 years. Played, drafted in 1980, played all the way through, uh, I believe, 1999. Is that right? That's right. Yes. And you played for the, the, let's see, six different teams with the Kings. Were you you there when Gretzky was there? Did you play with Gretzky? I was. Uh, I broke in uh, with L.A. in in 81, 82. uh, and then was fortunate to play with Wayne 
uh, for a couple of years, uh, 88, 89. Ah, very nice. And as you broke in, I'm noticing here, as you broke in three straight hat tricks as a rookie, what was that like? Yeah, I did that, uh, and the funny thing is, you know, you being from Colorado, I scored my first goal, actually, uh, in, in Colorado, playing against the old Colorado Rockies wow. uh, before the Avalanche came. So uh, I have great memories of playing in Colorado, and uh, and then I came home and had three straight hat tricks in uh, three straight home games. That is unbelievable. I mean, you were quite the scorer. Your best season, 70 goals, 80 assists, 150 points on the season. And you didn't even play a full season. Um, it, it, it's a privilege to have you on the show today. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. Now, playing days, obviously, they wrapped up a little while ago. You've moved on to other things in your life. Um, you and your, your partner in this new venture, Zach Ward, you're introducing something that we have never seen before. This is the first of its kind. Um, I'm not sure, do we call it all sports market, the new sports economy, global sports financial exchange? Tell me what we're working with here. Well, it's basically all three, but uh, all sports market, it's the first ever real money sports stock market. So you're in Colorado, uh, people there, they can go out and buy shares in the Colorado Avalanche, the Rockies. Uh, I was a huge uh, Broncos fan. Uh, the Denver uh, Broncos, and uh, you get to watch your your investment perform every night. It's uh, it's not gambling; it's an investment. When you make an investment, uh, uh, when you make a bet, a bet will expire. That's gambling. This is investing. Uh, you can hold on to your shares as long as you want. You can sell them whenever you want. Uh, my, you know, when I when I explain to people that the cool thing about this is. For example, you're, you're a Colorado uh, Rockies fan, and, and you buy shares in them. Well, you look around the league, and you see a team, maybe the you know, New York Yankees have a homestand for you know, uh, two or three weeks. You, they got bad teams coming in. You buy shares in them. They, they go maybe 16 of 18. You get paid dividends in all your wins. So you collect the dividends. You turn around at the end of that. You sell it. You look for another team. Uh, if you want to play, if you want some action, look for another team. Meanwhile, you still have shares in your team. Uh, you do that, you know, to me, and the trade deadline, if you, you see a team in the NHL that feels like they're going to make a run for the playoffs, they make a deal or two, buy shares in them. Uh, meanwhile, you still have shares in your own team, but you watch the, uh, the playoff run. Hopefully, your, your team that you make the investment in does well. You, you, you collect the, the investment or the, uh, the dividends their shares go up, turn around, sell them, you know, so there's so many different things you can do where if you're betting, it's gambling, it's a one-shot deal, you win, you lose, you move on to the next one, well, this year, it's, it's investing, it's just, it's a little more fun to me, um, we, we have a, a play side, you get, uh, they give you $2,500 of free money to play, it's kind of a learning tool, uh, we, we do this for kids, it's kind of, um, uh, learning how to invest with sports you know so uh, it, it's just a great concept i think it's it's a lot more fun than than fantasy or or gambling and that's it's it just you know it, it's the way to go so it's it's a new avenue it's not the gambling that we've all heard in recent weeks that's opened up sports gambling opening up all around the country here um it's not fantasy sports like the draft kings and that's right those type of things but now sports fans have a different way to connect to their team so to speak um, i'm looking at the site right now it's market capitalization already over 1.4 billion on your guys's site that is amazing right there great accomplishment yeah like uh you know like i said it's it, it's investing you know and uh where it's so much different, like you, you talked about fantasy sports and fantasy sports, that, that, that's gambling. Fast, uh, DraftKings, uh, FanDuel, it's all, it's all, it's all gambling. What, what I like about this is what we've created is what we're going to do is we're going to give 50% of every transaction made in whatever sport is to the league for nothing. Okay. You know, where uh, other things, when you're gambling or uh, DraftKings sports, uh, 
they don't do that. But what we've done, we, we, what we're going to do is we're going to give back to the leagues, which I think is is great in itself. You know, uh, you know, and like I said, with the uh, with the the other side, the free side, it, you know, for kids uh, learning financing through sports, uh, I, I think that's a, a valuable tool for for the young generation. So there's Definitely. just so much more that that we're doing that. The other side's not where the gambling's not, and you know the the um, you know the fantasy side's not. So we're just I, I just think it, it's time we're we're ahead of the curve with that, and it, it's just so much uh, better for the fans. Now you got you were telling us that all these the Rockies are on there, the Broncos are on there. Are you working with these different professional leagues? Is that how they are able to get that fifty percent of each transaction? Uh, we're not yet. I've sat in. We've met with, with the NHL, met with Major League Baseball, this and that. They love the concept. We weren't ready yet uh, to, to give them that, but they, they love the concept. And uh, it, it's not like like uh, you, you don't own a piece of the team, per se, like you do with the Green Bay Packers. The Green Bay Packers are the, the only real publicly traded uh, sports franchise there is. Right. We've created a a website that uh, it's the same idea other than you don't own it, you know, but it's the same concept. Uh, but our goal is, is we want to give back to the league. And, and that's what our goal is, is uh, once we get this thing dialed in and, and meet with the leagues and stuff is we, we want to give back to uh, the, the, the leagues and, and that they're going to, that's going to generate them a tremendous amount of money. It's, it's amazing uh, with just a few amount of people, on their uh, selling on, on whatever sports team it is, the amount of money you can generate for the teams in the league. Well, it almost seems like free money. Well, it is free money. They, they absolutely have nothing. We don't need them uh, to do this, but, I mean, it's free money for them. So, to me, it, it's a no-brainer. If, if I walk in with a check for your boss and go, you know, here's X amount of dollars, do you want it? You know, chances are good they're going to take it. So, <laughs> right. uh, you know, so to me it's just, you know, to me it's great that we give back that way, and I think uh, it, it's just going to make, a, you know, our company that much stronger having the league support it. Now, what kind of things cause the team's price to drop or fall? Are we talking about championships, injuries, win losses? How how is Absolutely. that determined? Absolutely, it, it's all that. Absolutely, like. Uh, the, the public will move it, so you'll see sometimes maybe uh, not the better teams in the league be traded the most. You know, for example, the Toronto Maple Leafs. They're a good hockey team, but hockey in Canada, hockey in Ontario is ridiculously crazy, so uh, the fans will move that. But uh, if the first-round draft choice, if, if you get a you know great uh, player or if they make some trades, uh, to better their team, then the the ticker will move. But for the most part, it's still the public that's going to move it. Okay, so say everybody's really in on the Yankees. People start buying up the Yankees. That's going to drive the price up? That's right. Okay. So this yeah. is similar to then the actual stock exchange. It, it's identical to the, the uh, New York Stock Exchange. And we've either, and we're a non-profit, which you know, a lot of people probably don't know this. The New York Stock Exchange was a nonprofit for years, okay. so we've kind of molded ours uh, similar to them. So yeah, only difference is, and and obviously the kicker is, is you get to watch your uh, investment perform every day. You know, and, and what what more fun is is that? You know, uh, I tell people I grew up. You know, when I went to LA, we had maybe ten thousand diehard fans kind of like the Colorado Rockies back in the day right, right. you know but they're true blue diehard fans and you know what fan wouldn't want to feel like they own a piece of their team whether you, you buy a share for five ten fifteen twenty dollars a thousand dollars whatever uh, but you own a piece of your team and you get to watch the perform every night to me that's as exciting as it can be so it probably would have been really good for those of us who haven't gotten in to have gotten in on the Las Vegas Golden Knights at the beginning Absolutely. of the season. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, when they, you know, who, who expect them to do what they did, right? 
Unbelievable. Uh, but you know what? The the team you guys got in Colorado right now, that's a good young team. And uh, their potential, to me, is, is up and coming. They're, they're going to have a good team, and they're going to have a good team for a long time. they got a lot of good young kids there. Uh, so that would be another team to invest in. Definitely, definitely. The young guys, the guys that are showing promise, they made a big jump last season from the year before. I could see Did that. they ever. So I'm looking at the site right now. Um, I'm watching the ticker go by. The Saints are trading at $10.20. Anaheim Angels, $8.15. So you guys have a live – is this a live ticker or is this just like an example? No, this is a live ticker up to date. Okay. Absolutely. So, yeah. I mean, guys, you got to get out there. you got to check out this site, allsportsmarket.com. They have the live ticker. They have their market index. They have the dividends, team stocks on there the latest trades top stock gainers on there right now the yankees are at 32 dollars uh wow yankees are at 32 dollars okay and if i can explain because maybe a lot of people don't understand what the dividend pool yes. is yes and if, if you go see it like if if you go buy shares in the say the avalanche right now a percentage will go to a dividend pool and if i have shares say in the los angeles kings the dividend pool so now when my team plays your team, if your team wins, then you will take money out of my dividend pool, whatever percentage is. It obviously all depends on, you know, how much money's in there. But uh, that's how you get paid dividends on every win. So, you know, to me, that that's the exciting part. If you know, for people who look around the league and they they look for a team that's going to be successful, uh, it may not be the team that you uh your favorite team, but you buy shares in them. And uh, like I can say with baseball, you get a team that's on a roll. They they win, you know, 10 or 12 games in a row. You get the money uh, from the other team's dividends pool. So you're making money. And then, you know, obviously the, you, you win a few games. Your, your shares are going to go up. You turn around and sell it, and you look for another team. Meanwhile, you still have shares in your own team. So that, that concept to me is just it, it's really cool. Yeah, it really is. I'm liking it a lot. Now, I'm a, you mentioned the learning version, the play version, and there's a pay version. Um, on the learning version, does it kind of break it down a little bit, or is it just an opportunity to get in there, see what it's about, make a couple trades? Yeah, I think it's, you know, we give you free money to play with, and it, you just get in there, and you, you learn how the, the market works. And, you know, you have your play money, you, you play with it, and it's kind of a learning curve. You know, you you play with it until you understand it, you get a feel for it, and then you decide that you want to use your, the real money. Okay, nice, nice. That's very good. I could I could see, especially now, um, I do work in and around school districts, so the financial part for kids I'm really kind of into. Um, yeah. Like them being able to, you know, jump on that and indirectly almost just absorb how it works, even though That's they right. think they're just playing the, the teams. And I think that's a powerful tool for us, you know. Uh, anytime you involve kids, uh, learning financing through sports, uh, I think it makes it fun, you know, while they're learning. And, and I think anytime you can do that, I think that's a big plus. Definitely. And, you know, all sports market, they have been everywhere. They've been on ESPN, USA Today, CBS. Um, there was a great piece done by Kate Rooney on CNBC back in December of 2017. Yes. Um, and you know, I am, I, the more I, I talk to you, the more I've been reading into it and looking at the site, the site is extremely user friendly. Um, so that's one thing that, you know, as a novice, as somebody who is coming into it going, okay, what, what exactly is this? I was able to find the site, navigate through it and see what it was about. So that's a definite plus for people who, um, are you know might be skeptic they don't know what they're getting into that, that's exactly right and that's what it's there for uh, like i say we give you free money to to play with it uh we actually even on the real side we actually even have a cap of 2500 you know we don't want someone coming in and spending 10 20 you know fifty thousand dollars uh on this we want to come in have fun with it learn about it and then and play with it you know so Definitely. um I think we're doing everything right, uh, like I said, with the free side for kids. Uh, you know, learning financing through sports where it can be fun. It's just, 
I just think we got this thing uh, where it should be and, and doing the right things with it. You were a great scorer and a great player in the NHL. You've moved on to what seems like another great venture. Um, Bernie, I got to thank you again. Thanks for being on the show. This is an awesome venture. What I would like to do for you guys is put a link on our website directly to allsportsmarket.com so my listeners if can navigate through from our site as well. Oh, I appreciate that. That's awesome. Definitely. Thank you. And, uh, you know, love to have you back during hockey season. We can catch up on, oh, absolutely. on where allsportsmarket.com is and talk some hockey. You got it. Anytime. I appreciate it. All right, definitely. That is Bernie Nichols, former three-time All-Star center and forward in the NHL and co-founder of allsportsmarket.com. Thank you for joining us, Bernie. You got it. All right, again, I can't tell you what an honor it was to have somebody like Bernie Nichols on my show, on Real Deal Sports Talk with KP. And like I said there, um, anything I can do for them, I'm going to. That link to their site should be up on Real Deal Sports Talk with KP. Uh, By the end of the weekend, we want to make sure it's looking clean and nice before we get it up there for them. It'll have links to the site. It'll have links to their social media where you can follow them on Facebook at All Sports Sports Market. You can also follow them on Twitter at ASM Free App. So check them out there. Go to AllSportsMarket.com. Don't be... afraid to jump in and check it out i mean when you think about it right now they've got the play money for you to play with go play with the money mess around with a little bit see if it's something that you want to put some real money on or if it's something you you know you just want to do as a hobby on on a side piece uh and it'll eventually grow on you it's growing on me Uh, i'm right there kicking in the door ready to start my my pay site if it will i've been watching the tickers and the market dividends and the breakdown and all the stuff they got going on there at allsportsmarket.com. I hope to have Zach Ward on the show here in the near future. That'll be great as well. Um, Can't begin to thank them enough. And again, it's about building. It's about helping. It's about making everybody successful because that's real and that's love. So moving on, what's not love? What's making LaShawn McCoy look shady? Shady looking shady. This is an unbelievable story that is broken this week. Um, let's just get into it. There's no nice way to talk about it. There's no light way to talk about it. This is an ugly situation, and we're going to have to see where it goes. Because our system, you are innocent until proven guilty. No matter if everything we know right now is making this man look guilty as sin. Okay? Right now, LaShawn McCoy, uh, this, is, this is a guy, he's one of the NFL's best players. He is a potential Hall of Fame candidate, uh, depending on how his career ends and what goes on here. So the NFL, they're looking into it, of course. They got to do the business side. They got to look at their reputation. Well, a Twitter post comes out from a friend of LaShawn's ex-girlfriend saying that he is responsible for what these images show of a woman who has been brutally beaten. A woman who is at the hospital, bloody and swollen and bruised. Unacceptable. To a man, you don't do that. You don't do that to another human being. There are other ways to handle your issues, to work it out. But when you're going to let ego or machismo or estrogen or testosterone or all these different things get in the way of you using your brain and being a person, these are the kind of outcomes we end up with. When weakness takes over, Instead of that ability to be strong and humble and get past and look past and get over. And instead, we're going to react and be angry and aggressive and violent. This goes back to the conversation we have been having about how divided we are. Now, this post claims that he is responsible for this situation. It does not say he did this. It says he is responsible It also goes on to talk about him using syringes and beating his kids and beating animals and how they're not going to take it anymore. Now, this post has been taken down, the person says, because the lawyer has instructed them to take it down. While this situation is going on, don't have any communication. LaShawn has gone and gotten himself a defense attorney. And it just looks bad. Perception is everything. We are in the, the, the means of the Me Too movement, the times of the Me Too movement. 
We are no longer sweeping things like this under the rug. And we shouldn't. And we shouldn't have been. But this post comes out, it has been replaced. Or deleted. Now, Shady was in Miami, Florida at the time. This home intrusion, as the police are calling it, took place in Georgia. The police are saying this looks like a targeted attack. Now, this, this, this house that these, this person was in, his ex-girlfriend was in, this is a house they shared together. This is a house he's been trying to actively evict her from. This is a house that they had a hearing to go to that got postponed because her lawyers could not make it due to some personal reasons, it seems like. A few days after this hearing was supposed to take place, this home intrusion takes place. Now, he's had to try and have his family put the furniture out on the lawn to get a victor. Um, he's gotten rid of the security cameras at the property. He's changed the security codes. It's being reported. It's being reported that... Um, somebody may have told her that with all of that stuff, she may get robbed. Starting to look real movie-like, starting to look real shady. Not good at all. The only part that looks good about that is the man was in another state. Now, as her post said, <coughs> she didn't say he did it. She said he's responsible. Now, he's gone and he's hired the defense attorney in Atlanta that represented Ray Lewis in his murder trial. That, for a lot of people, are they're going to see murder trial, another football player, and the things that are being reported about this right now, and they have written him off, he is guilty. And he may be. He very well may be. Whoever did this is a weak individual. They're a weak human. They're a punk. They're not a productive part of society, in my opinion. At least not at the current time. Now, he's in Florida. This house is in Georgia. Did he hire some dumb thug to do this? Police say there was one person who attacked the house. He attacked the one person in the house. Nobody else, just her. He asked for specific items from the person that apparently have been asked for to be returned in other court hearings. Again, looking very shady for shady very movie-like, like I'm going to hire somebody to take care of this. A little bit like the Ray Carruth situation. Now, was LaShawn wanting her taken out? Was LaShawn just wanting to scare her and get her stuff back? Did LaShawn have nothing to do with this? And this is some weird coincidence. Was somebody in LaShawn's circle talking about this to their boy, and they thought, I'm going to take care of this for LaShawn. I'm going to get me a seat at the table. He's going to be so happy with me because I took care of this for him. Is there some idiot out there who did something like that? Is this strictly random? Least likely option that this is strictly random. That this one person attacked an ex-girlfriend in this house, asked for items that he wanted back, and left and didn't do anything else. Now, we have three weeks until the regular season, I mean, until the pre until training camp, and then the preseason take place. That's not enough time for law enforcement, in my opinion, to figure this out. That's not enough time if the NFL, in their investigation, for them to figure this out. This is something that's going to drag on. It's something that, it, it's, it's not a good look. It's going to affect his career, right, wrong, or indifferent, moving forward. And this all comes the same week that Marcel Darius catches his second case for alleged domestic violence. Brandon Browner catches a case for alleged attempted murder. And it all comes in what we've talked about before, the arrest season between OTAs and training camp, training camp getting started. Where NFL players find a way to get themselves arrested on some dumb stuff. Now, LaShawn hasn't been arrested. No charges have been filed. It's all speculation and Twitter posts right now. It doesn't look good. I hope he didn't do it. I hope this is something else. But if he did, if he did have something to do with it, he deserves everything that's going to be taken away from him. He deserves everything that's going to happen to him and every punishment that is laid down. By no means is this action, are these acts, is this treatment of this human, 
acceptable on any level. Let that be known right now. And this does have a Ray Carruth feel to it. It is almost unreal and hard to believe with the things that we have heard about this case so far come out. It's very movie-like. It's very stupid. Now what do the Bills do in this situation? How do they handle it? What are their options? If I'm the Bills, I'm sorry. I understand you are my best player. But for right now, I'm not answering questions about this. I'm going to have to put you on the exempt list until we figure out what's going on. Because I have to worry about the business and the organization of the Buffalo Bills and not just the person of LaShawn McCoy right now. So I'm not going to make any statements. We're not going to judge him in any way. We're going to reserve that until we have all the facts and until the situation has been handled. If we're going to make any statement, it's going to be a statement that we are not for domestic violence. That we are donating money. Maybe, you know. You don't want the fans to then take that and think, hey, they're only doing that because they know their boy's guilty. So I'm distancing myself right now if I'm the Buffalo Bills. And if he's guilty, I'm cutting ties. That's when I make another statement. If he's not guilty, I'm going to bring him back. I'm going to offer him full support. I'm going to give him the red carpet. I'm going to let him know that we had his back, that there's business to it. And we're going to work with him to do something positive. It is the time of the Me Too movement. This is bad, bad business for the NFL, what's going on right now, once again with domestic violence. And I heard this point earlier today by a, a guy who works for Yahoo Sports. It's such a small percentage of NFL players that are involved in stuff like this, but this is what gets the headlines. This is what drives perception. This is what we don't want to see. That's bad for business. That's bad for the league. That's bad for the game. The game that's going great right now, that's the World Cup, everybody. The World Cup right now is amazing. It's been a great World Cup. All of the penalty kicks, all of the extra time, all of the memes, all of the upsets. As a casual soccer football fan, I have thoroughly enjoyed World Cup 2018. And we are down to our last two, our final participants, that being France versus Croatia. This will take place on Sunday for the finals. We have a country with 66 million people taking on a country with 4 million people. We have a country that has a city with 2 million people in Paris taking on a country that has 4 million people. Croatia has proved through hard work, through teamwork, dedication, loyalty, getting back up when they have been knocked down, that they deserve to be here. Amazing what such a small place with a limited talent to pool has been able to pull off. They are the second smallest country to reach a final since I believe 1930. Which is amazing. This is their first ever appearance in the World Cup Finals. This will be France's third appearance. They also made it in 1998 and in 2006. And both of these teams, neither one of them, did I hear anybody talking about at the beginning, the experts, the prognosticators, talking about look at Croatia, look at France when we come down to the final two. They weren't talked about. I didn't have them winning. In fact, when they made it into the elimination rounds, I had them being knocked out well before now. So congratulations to both teams. It's great what they have managed to do. I'm taking the underdog. I like the underdog story. I will take Croatia to continue on their run and win the World Cup on Sunday. Now on Saturday, we got a third place match, right? Okay, Kind of like the bronze medal in the Olympics. Belgium taking on England. Now, in my mind, this is a game that's got to be hard to get up for. You saw both of these teams after their semifinal matches on the ground, some people in tears, unbelievable exhaustion coming out of them. Uh, They feel like their tournament is over, even though they have this one more game to play. And it's a game that, if you think about it, the way the Olympics are, gold, silver, bronze, right? You don't want the silver medal. Because that means you were close to the sweetest taste of gold and you fell short. But winning that bronze 
It makes you feel good. You achieve something. You accomplish something. You're one of the best at the things you were there to do. So if I'm in this third place game, if I'm Belgium or if I'm England, I'm going out there, I'm ready to represent. Because winning bronze, winning third place, to me, is better than winning silver. Silver is harder to take that defeat because that means you were so close to being the best. You were so close to being the champion, and it was taken away from you. So great World Cup. Amazing to see that. Again, thank you to Bernie Nichols for joining us on the show and having that conversation with me. He is big time. Zach Ward, big time. His partner, co-founder of AllSportsMarket.com. Check out their site. Their link will be up on our site as soon as the end of this weekend. And until next time, y'all know how we do. Just keep it real. Yo, Denver City life, living every night, getting it. All I see is green like it's night vision. My sight's different. My type driven. These niggas risking a life sittings over white flipping, but I ain't with it. I'm light skinned. My mind gifted intelligence in my disposition. Aristocratic image, and not to mention I'm nice with it. The ice drip over cardigan sweaters, tight fitting white linen. This is the type of shit that entice women. The fly shit that I'm on is passing the sky's limits. Why it's not surprising to see that all of these guys live it. I live it. So Solemnly swear the rhyme is quizzing with the time I'm giving. My mind flying to fine physics. I stay smooth like sipping out of champagne flutes. Always way cool, but it ain't a thing. Just the flame cruise. You lame dudes. This that shit that you can't do. That's why your main boost that he watching me. How I make moves. My high city life got me way above the clouds. Paint the audience a picture every time I draw a crowd. I hold my weight with these bars, so make no mistake. I get to cooking like Chef Curry and Golden State. I'm motivated. I'm taking off moving vertically. Saying that they were seeing me lyrically, that's absurd to me. Virtually murdering MCs on purpose. Cutting their body parts into pieces is verbal surgery. You say you hot, but you ain't burning to the third degree. Time to bring some urgency in the state of emergency. There's no comparison to us, that's way embarrassing. Making something from nothing like ancient Native Americans. Man, listen, I'm undergoing a transition. My transmissions are filled with nothing but ambition. No remorse on these rappers like a Roman force. Snuck into the game on these suckers inside the Trojan horse. Little remorse on these rappers like a Roman force.